This is junction 42 on the M6 motorway, the starting point of the new Carlisle Southern Link Road, which runs westward to the Newby West Roundabout on the A595 from Carlisle to West Cumberland. Beginning at junction 42 and heading west, the first structure we come across is the new bridge over the River Petrel. Continuing on from the Petrel Bridge, the road runs about a further half a kilometre to the second structure which is the railway bridge over the main north-south west coast line. The road to the left of the railway bridge is New Biggin Road, which runs from junction 42 to Derda. This view is looking back from the railway bridge towards Petrol Bridge and junction 42 beyond. This is Briscoe Roundabout, the third structure on the route from Junction 42 of the M6 motorway. The roundabout is well advanced in its construction, showing a provisional road base covering and lighting standards, and gives a good impression of what others will look like. You can also see the new cycle bridge over the new road. This is Scalegate, or Redcat Roundabout. The council have given it two names on their literature, and it is showing very little progress in construction, and appears to be the least advanced along the route, except for the new roads leading to and from it. This is Durdar Bridge, the sixth construction along the route and appears to be a replacement road to allow access over the new road for local traffic. Durda Roundabout, another major junction on this road by having a roundabout and two cycle bridges. You can see the bridges are quite long been positioned close to the roundabout. This roundabout is not as advanced as Briscoe as there are no road bases down or lighting standard as yet. This shows the forward route towards Colju Bridge in the distance. And on to Colju Bridge, probably the most technical and impressive element of this contract, which spans the River Colju in three parts. The first span launches the road onto the bridge itself, the second and longer spans in the centre section, and the third over the walk and cycleway and the West Coast Railway Line from Carlisle. These beams which span the river, some of which have already been delivered, with the second delivery due 4th to the 7th of November. The beams are 55 metres long by 5 metres high and are made from 30 to 55 millimetre thick steel 
and weigh in at 70 tonnes. And there are 18 of them. It looks like the beams will be positioned towards the end of November as the footpath is due to be closed from the 29th of November until the 13th of December. This is Commersdale roundabout, the penultimate structure on this route from the M6 motorway. This roundabout is in the centre of the existing Dalston Road, hence the reason for the extended reroute to Dalston for locals and businesses. A bird's eye view of the roundabout It also has a cycle bridge, beginnings of which can be seen just off centre of the video. Looking forward along the new road towards Newby West. Finally, we arrive at Newby West Roundabout, the last feature on the route from Junction 42. It is difficult at this stage to see exactly what is proposed, as it does not seem as straightforward onto or leaving the roundabout, as there appears additional work on the link road and the A689. Let's wait and see. Although this roundabout is not new, it is still a vital junction, as this will be the busiest on the route. Also showing at this junction is the work involved in the constructing of another cycle bridge which carries over the A595 from Carlisle. This shows what I believe is called an attenuation pond. Its purpose is to temporarily hold and gradually release water to prevent flooding during heavy rainfall. But I may be wrong. It could also be a retention pond for a more permanent water storage area. And that concludes the journey from Junction 42 to the Newby West Roundabout on Carlisle's new Southern Link Road.